of the many reasons I love this little CXS from Festool is that you can pop off this main chuck and put on a right angle one. And then this is an old, this is an older CXS, so it's not quite as smooth as it used to be, but now I can put in, in this case, the drill bit, because I'm gonna pre-drill for what I'm trying to do. So I've got long screws going on this side that are through the post, but on this side, they're gonna be going into the ends of all of these slats. So I'm gonna use shorter screws and I'm gonna pre-drill so that they don't split. Ready to drive the screw, you just pop the drill check off and pop on the actual bit holder. out here it's a absolutely gorgeous Sunday afternoon got a cup of tea that my wife made in this cool little mug that she had made for me a while back just pictures of our kids cool little mug stuff just tastes better if you're drinking it out of a fun mug so picked up screws after church today screwed off that board and then as you saw a second ago also went ahead and added this guy here on the side and another one over here on this end as well just covers up uh, before I had this one on you could see you know the ends of all these shooting off and this just has it looking a little bit more finished so now I just have these are 12 foot long boards I just have two of them left plus this one little probably five foot piece or six foot piece left over which isn't too bad I'll throw them under the storage area under my shop and save them for another project or you know, if I can come up with another use for them. And so now the final step is I got, these are just basic uh, five and a half or you know, basic six inch wide deck boards. So I'm going to put them on as a railing cap essentially over the entire thing just to help kind of complete it a little bit more. There's a gremlin on the other side of the fence. Hi. Hi. Hmm? I love it. Yeah, so pretty awesome. I think the style looks really good with the um, plants that we did. More of like a, a modern minimal style. And that's the entire style for the whole house. Right. Modern minimal. Modern and minimal. So that's the theme for this one. Nice. Yeah. I don't know what color stain to do. I guess it to think about what the house is gonna then if we're gonna change this yeah we kind of want to get rid of the ugly yellow siding at some point but we're also i feel like we're also just kind of like we don't know like if we're gonna stay or not so it's mm -hmm. like do we if we're not gonna stay we shouldn't change the siding because that's just wasting money but if we are gonna stay okay. then we could change the siding yeah so we do want to build a laundry room addition and so we would need more siding yeah. anyway mm -hmm. that's true so we'll see. I really like the fence though. It looks it's pretty sweet. I was really not sure what size spacing I wanted to do, <laughs> and I think the half inch spacing is perfect. Yeah. That's really good. You can see through it, but like not too much. Yeah. If anyone who's watching this video saw the the deck, the covered deck build video that we did a couple years ago, this is the same style that we do, like lattice work that we do underneath of all of our decks. Um, that one I think we alternated one by fours and one by sixes, but we spaced it three quarters of an inch. Uh, and here we opted for going half inch, uh, just to kind of, I don't know, decrease it a little bit. Um, and it works. Proportionally, I think it works really well. So, all right, time to do caps.
What do you think? Great. Perfect height to rest a drink on, rest your arm and set a drink on, if Pretty you're not probably. three feet tall. <laughs> it's still beautiful. Got it all, got the top cap all screwed on. It's all in. That's exactly what I planned. <laughs> Just how you drew it up. <laughs> Does look good. Still really loving the slate chips. Awesome. It's just a nice, <laughs> nice color, honestly. We'll Full. To, oh, sorry. No, you go ahead. No. I was gonna say we might have to make the girls come out here and pick up all the little stupid, whatever those little needle things are. In fact, we always call them. Can't make them pick up all of those. There's, <laughs> there's millions. Just, there's of only them. a few thousand. They can't blow out with the finger? No, I mean some of them do, but uh, I mean this is after blowing like I just did and there's still a lot of them that are uh, pretty stuck in there, but that's okay. We're not going to make our children. <laughs> I think it's funny. We're going to have to buy some more of these. Also, yeah. I know I'm wearing socks and sandals. And it's okay. I was wearing socks in the house and these are my outside shoes. so I just. Of course. Okay, so we're going to have to buy some more of these sure. for over there. But we have these. These. <laughs> How, when did we start this project? I told him earlier in the video that we started, like, we did all of this, like, I don't know, last, last spring. summer or last spring. spring. Yeah. It's been a while. Planting season. So okay. these have survived. Just sitting in their pots. And I haven't their... done anything. Like, they've been watered by the rain. Yep. And they're, they're alive. They are still alive. And they're for over there. And yeah. that's, that's awesome. We intended to get to a lot of this uh, much faster than we did, I think. Yeah, and then this area, we just... Uh, we well we got here and we stopped and then, and then we to pulled out all the bushes. Yeah. I did video us. I did video me pulling out the the bushes with my truck. So I guess I could throw that a little yeah. bit of that footage in here real quick. But we weren't. I wasn't. I wasn't really vlogging at the time. It was more just filming it for uh, like home video or whatever. I guess I don't know. And because it was cool, I haven't pulled bushes out with my truck in a while. But yeah, that was. We pulled bushes out and then it sat for a while. And it's, we're past the, you know, primary cold season of winter and figured it was time to finish it. So here it is. It looks amazing. It's it pretty looks awesome. really good. I keep thinking, oh, that just can't look any better. And then you guys, you like, you add these on and then it looks even more finished. And I'm like, oh, it can't look any better now. And then you put this on. <laughs> she thought I was done before I put the caps on. And I was like, no, I gotta put these little deck board caps on. It's, I sat one up there to show her. She's like, oh my gosh, it looks so much better. Well, it looks so nice. It already yes. looks amazing. Of course. Yeah. So nice. And then it just, like the bushes did give like a little bit of, it, not privacy, but like if, it yeah. feels a little bit more like. Yeah, this road, in case you hadn't noticed, a lot of times there's, a, there's lots of vehicles that drive. It's kind of the main road in the neighborhood, which is fine, but kind of gives a slight amount of privacy for when we're mm -hmm. sitting on the porch uh, in hammocks reading or uh, playing with all of the scrap wood, which is what my kids have been doing Once the last day or two. The bushes down, which they need, <laughs> I, w I was, I never regretted that decision. Yeah. But once we took it down, I was like, oh, wow, I feel so exposed to <laughs> the road, even though it's, you know, Yep. I don't know why. It's but now it's done, now it's beautiful. And we'll let it weather and then we'll choose a color to stain it. I think it'll look fine too the hill. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we still got some work to do out here. It looks kind of cool. It's like I like that whatever plant that is. And... Are we pulling that out? I thought no, we were pulling. No, oh, we're like not it. pulling that I out? Like it okay. Looks good. We were going to pull that out, but I guess now we're not. Do so. some rocks. <laughs> and got to do some more rocks. Do some, you know, weed killing and stuff. Yeah, sprayed some weed killer in here. That's why some of the weeds look a little patchy because I kind of killed that area, but I didn't really do too much over here. Thank you for building the fence. Of course. I love it. It's really good. It's very cool. You're welcome. The style is exactly my picture. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. Mm hmm. I can't wait to stain it. Yeah, that'll be fun. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Got it all done. Next step will be uh, actually, like we said, continuing to work on the beds and do some planting and things like that. So that'll be coming up soon. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching as always and see you on the next one.